Events like this are happening all over Montgomery County, and I'm so honored to be able to participate in several of them. And these events are happening because people are coming together with the understanding that creating a moral equivalency between hate mongers like the KKK and other white supremacist groups and those who stand up in opposition to racism and anti-Semitism is just plain wrong. There were not two sides to the reprehensible actions that took place last weekend in Charlottesville. These actions left an innocent woman, Heather Hayer, dead, as well as two Virginia State Troopers, Lieutenant H.J. Cullen and Trooper Burke M.M. Bates. Our Declaration of Independence contains these well-known words. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These words created the moral framework toward which the United States and all of us who love this country must strive. Even in these extraordinarily difficult times, we must not lose sight of the fact that these words represent what a majority of Americans uniformly stand for. Equality and non-discrimination for people of all races, faiths, cultures, sexual orientation, and ethnic backgrounds. As Americans, and as immigrants and as patriots, we have a moral responsibility to stand up to these hate groups and also to look out for each other. Blatant acts like the White Nationalist March last weekend are the tip of the iceberg that we can easily see. We must also be vigilant for and stand up to the veiled hate, the more subtle discrimination that is less easy to see, but happens on a daily basis right before our eyes. Each of us has the power in our daily lives to speak up against hateful statements, call out anti-Semitic and racist comments online, support organizations and institutions that are protecting victims. Each of you should call your elected representatives and demand that they stay, take a stand with you to denounce these groups and their hateful comments. I've got two of your elected representatives right here doing that tonight. And most importantly, you should vote. You should vote in every single election. And we should all be proud of this great country and all of those who are striving to meet the moral framework laid out in our Declaration of Independence. In fact, I think that the response to the events in Charlottesville over the last few days the unequivocal condemnation of those events by people from every walk of life, every part of the country, every part of our county, rich or poor, Republican or Democrat, people of every faith, every race, this has shown us how strong and resilient our democracy truly is. There is only one side for equality and equal protection. I am humbled and honored to stand with so many of you on that side, united together in the belief and the promise of the United States of America. Thank you.